since when do you just give something to someone? No, I'm just saying that you're not known for it. Oh, come on. You and I both know that you'd never do something for someone without expecting anything in return. Yes, yes, okay, fine. <gasps> oh my god. It's a human? For me? For real? How did you... How did you get one? It's so difficult to find humans here. And it's a girl too. Oh my god, you're the best, I swear. I still hate you, but you are the best. Oh, they've been testing my patience a bit too much recently, so this is exactly the release that I need. She's so beautiful, so pure, so lovely. A little too lovely. She's a blank canvas right now. One that I can mark or ruin however I want. I don't know how you found this gem, but it's so great. Absolutely wonderful. Now, leave. Leave. I want to get to know my new toy. Who knew that this day would come? Me having my own human. A very pretty one at that too. Oh, look at you in that cage. Barely able to sit up straight. It's almost adorable to see you like that. You look up at me with those large eyes. I can see that they're filled with fear and confusion. Who is she? Where am I? All the questions going through your brain in a cage that's just large enough for you to lay down in. They've been so generous to give you a little mattress so you're not just laying on the floor. That's so nice of them. You should have thanked them for it. Oh, I've seen pets with way worse living conditions. Aw, oh, your confused look is so adorable. You're probably wondering what I mean. Most pets are kept in dirty rooms or basements. Most demons do not give a single fuck about their pets. If they die, they die. If they live, they better serve well, otherwise they die anyways. Impress or be gone. I could say the same about you. I'm happy to have a pet again, but I'm not afraid to dispose of you whenever you don't meet my standards. And my standards are high. I deserve to get the best and nothing but the best. Do you understand me? Nod your head if you understand me. Good girl. Now you're probably curious what I want from you. I want your obedience. I want you to serve me. I want you to treat me like a god. You worship me. You worship the ground that I walk on. And most importantly, you do exactly what I say. Everything that you know of your old life, of your old you, is gone. That girl you used to know, she doesn't exist anymore. Why are you looking at me like that? You've never seen a demon before. Is it my horns? My tail? My wings? My skin color? My black eyes? Am I intimidating to you? Or do you like it? Does it excite you? A powerful demon that has taken an interest in you? I can break you with the snap of my finger. I can mark you, ruin you, corrupt you. I can make you feel things that you've never felt before, good and bad. If you are a good girl, I will make you feel amazing things. 
to find me and you feel things so awful that you'll beg me to die. Before you ask anything, I'm a demon. I know how to punish. I love to see others in pain, hear them cry, beg and scream in agony. See them try to get away, try to not feel the pain. I love it. And I will not hold back because you're a human. You're weak. And you will always stay weak. As long as I'm your master, you will be. You'll be the bottom of the pyramid. Oh yeah, does that confuse you? I'm your master and I will be referred to as such. You call me master or ma'am. Anything other than that is not tolerated. Am I clear? I want to hear yes master or no master. Say it again. Louder. Good girl. Now, let's see how obedient you are. I feel like you will require some training. But don't worry. I love to train pets. Let's start with opening that cage. Come on, sweetie. Crawl to me. Don't look so stupid. Get on your hands and knees and crawl to me. Do I have to drag you out of there by your hair? No. No what? No master, that's right. Last chance. Crawl to me. Good girl. Very good. Now sit up on your knees. Oh, darling, your posture is atrocious. Listen to me and my instructions carefully. Knees closed. Sit on the back of your feet. Straighten your back. Pull your shoulders back. And keep your gaze down until I order you to look at me. Very good, you're learning fast. Keep that up and I might be impressed. You see, I'm hard to please. I expect the best of the best at all times. If not, I will get tired of you very fast. And if I get tired of you, I will dispose of you. Very, very quickly. Humans may be hard to find, but that does not stop me. Besides that... Me having a well-trained human is good for my reputation. If you're acting out and others see it, that's not good for me. And if it's not good for me, it sure as hell won't be good for you. You see, I have a lot of ways to punish you. And let me guess, you want to hear my ways of punishment so you know what to expect. No, darling, you want to know... To see how bad the consequences will be if you mess up. You want to know how much I can ruin you, your body and your mind. You want to calculate the risks. But isn't that the fun part about it? Not knowing how harsh your punishment will be until you deserve it. Will you stay in line out of fear for the unknown? Or will you be brave and defy me to see how bad I am? Choices, choices. Big girl choices. Look at me. I said look at me. Are you already going to defy me? No. You just did. Lay on the ground. Let me put my boot on your face for a moment. Just to make your position a little more clear. You are less than the bottom of my shoe. You are beneath it. Do you understand it? Good girl. Now that I have you down there, I will explain some rules to you. First, whenever I call you, you will come immediately. You will find me, kneel next to me, and ask me what I need you for. I don't care what you are doing, you drop it and come to me. 
Secondly, if this was not clear already, you will do as I say whenever I say it. You will not take orders from anyone else. Other demons might want to steal such a precious face away and I will not let them. If I have to hurt another demon because of your stupidity, you will pay for it. Are those rules clear to you? Good girl. I love the way you say yes, master. Your face has been smashed in the ground enough now. Sit up. Good girl. If you're good for me, I might even reward you. You humans like affection, right? I can stroke your face, play with your hair, give you forehead kisses, scratch your back, color you. Like I said, I can make you feel amazing things. Did that catch your attention? Is that what you like? Well, too fucking bad. You have to work for it. You have to earn it. Prove yourself first. Rewards later. You have a question? Go ahead. The cage? That's where you'll sleep. Every evening, I will put you in there. And you will go to sleep like a good girl. And I will let you out in the mornings. Looks like you're gonna have to learn how to hold it, Pat. Don't talk back to me! Was that not clear? Do I have to cut your tongue out already? I really don't want to damage my pet this early on, but if you leave me no choice, I will do so gladly. Wouldn't that be cute? A pet that cannot talk back, just silently obey orders? <laughs> Tears will not help you, dearest. You can cry all you want. Your tears are my happy fuel, so keep going. You know what, sweetie? Let me show you to my training room. There I have all the equipment that I need to make you feel... certain things. Come on, get on your hands and knees and crawl. Follow me. <laughs> Good girl.